We are here at the Sparks slash White Cloud Antique Weekend. They do this twice a year. This is our first time coming out. We did the White Cloud section first, and now we're hitting the Sparks area. It's just out in a big field. We're parked all along the sides of the street. I'm often asked, where do I find my found objects? And this is one of the ways that I enjoy finding things. So let's have a look. <laughs> ah, first table. Look at that. <laughs> Fun. We're bound to find lots of cool things out here today. This is a fun box. Lots of colors on rulers, metal, wood. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> oh, look at that tray. Now that's a piece I would just hang up for inspiration and decoration. First purchase, some dice, wooden game pieces, and a metal fuse box. And Brian found a harmonica. Nice. Oh man, look at that. Jeez. That may have to come back to our studio. How cool would this piece be as something in your show display? The top folds down and then you would just have a box and then you've got all the drawers there to pull out and display jewelry on. And then when you were in it shows it would be awesome on your workbench with your tools and metal. There's a lot of good things in here for a metal smith studio. Stop for a lemonade. Now we're, I think we're only a third of the way through. But very cool show. And I think I mentioned, I said we were in Sparks and White Cloud, but I didn't say it was Kansas. There's aisles and aisles of vendors, but then there's also old buildings that people have popped up into with their antiques. The old buildings themselves are really fun to look at. Look at that tin ceiling. A whole bunch of them. Oh my gosh. I think we made it through everything wiped out. It's really hot and we're excited to get back into the air-conditioned vehicle. So we had a pretty good time at the Sparks um, Antique Weekend. Didn't bring back a whole lot but I did bring back that three-door three drawer chest. So now we just need to find a spot in the studio here for it. Uh, and I picked up a new camera not at that show, but um, new video camera. So hopefully I can start bringing you some more close-up detail shots of the metal smithing um, and a little higher quality video, possibly. So I'll be messing around with that, maybe throwing out a couple of shorts. So this is gonna be a challenge, but I think it will definitely be worth it. So thanks for joining me on this antiquing trip. And I'll see you in the next video.